The popularity of social networks has not only provided a huge amount of data for scientists to analyze, but also brought new challenges in data mining and additionally clustering. In this section, I present algorithms for clustering in social networks. The first important thing here is the accuracy of clustering in social networks. If there is no path between nodes U and V, then they should not be in the same cluster. Also, it is important that the shortest path between two nodes in the same cluster pass through nodes of that cluster. Otherwise, the clustering could be improved. Now I need some definitions to describe the algorithms. A cut in a graph is set of edges which, when removed, divide graph into two subgraphs that are not connected anymore. Here, the set of red edges is a cut. The size of a cut is the number of its edges. As you can see, there are different cuts for a graph. But the minimum cut is the one we are looking for. It could be found in an efficient time. Now we can define a high connected subgraph or HCS. A subgraph is high connected if the size of its minimum cut is more than the half of the number of its vertices. For example, here we have a graph with six vertices, but its minimum cut has two edges, so it is not an HCS. The high connected subgraph algorithm for clustering comes from this definition. It starts with the initial graph and calculates the minimum cut. If it isn't highly connected, it then divides the graph into two subgraphs by deleting the edges of the minimum cut. The process is repeated for each subgraph. It returns high connected subgraphs as clusters and divides other according to their minimum cut. It stops when all the subgraphs become highly connected. Although the minimum cut is found efficiently in each step, according to the number of subgraphs, the HCS clustering algorithm is not a good one for big data. I'll now look at another algorithm called shared nearest neighbor clustering. In a given graph G, the shared nearest neighbors of U and V are nodes which are adjacent to both of them. At the first step of the SSN clustering algorithm, it weights each node with the number of shared nearest neighbors between its vertices. Here, node 3 and 4 have one shared nearest neighbor, so the weight of the edge between them is 1. In the next step, it removes edges which have weights less than tau. Here, for example, if we consider tau equal to 2, we should remove the red edges. The algorithm then returns each connected subgraph as the final clustering. However, this algorithm processes the data only once, but it is highly dependent on the value of tau. On the next page, you can find an algorithm called Markov Clustering Algorithm, MCL. It is proven that MCL has good performance in clustering big data since it is based on matrix-matrix multiplication, and we can do this procedure in parallel programming. 